Hello everyone and welcome to Medicated Housewife DIY where crafting and mental health come together. My name is Stair. In today's DIY video, hacks, alcohol ink, candle DIY, easy Dollar Tree candles for holiday gifts. We are making five gorgeous holiday candles, perfect for gift giving using Dollar Tree candles. Filled with rich color and holiday cheer, super quick and easy holiday gift giving hacks using alcohol ink and nothing more. Anyone can do it and I'll show you how. You won't want to miss this DIY. I think you're going to like them, so stick around and let's go make some stuff and jump right into this. To begin with, I will link all the supplies used in the description box below. You'll need some 91% alcohol, some assorted candles and a spray bottle, some makeup brushes, and assorted colors of alcohol ink. I'll let you know exactly what colors we're using as we use them, and you're going to also need some squares of white felt. I cut up some white felt that I got from the Dollar Tree felt. The first candle we'll be working with is this medium size wax pillar candle and that's from Dollar Tree. I removed the label from the bottom and I also grabbed a straw to use to blow some air onto the colors on the candle. The first colors that I'm using for this candle are the Tim Holtz alcohol ink and the colors denim and meadow and again I'll link all of these for you below. Just a note, always wear gloves when you work with these inks or you will stain your hands and be sure to shake your inks really well before you open them. I have a small cup of 91% alcohol, which you can get at any hardware store, or I will link it for you below. We can dip our brush into the alcohol in between colors or to lighten the color that we're working with. And I'm starting with this small makeup brush, and I'll link the set that I use for my alcohol inks below for you. And I will squeeze some of the ink out directly onto the candle and use this brush to move the color around the base of the candle. And honestly, I wasn't sure what my plan was, but the cool thing about these inks is that sometimes the color just takes on a life of its own and you start to plan and plot out your project as you go along. These inks are very forgiving and they make it really easy for you to get very, very creative. The more drops of color that you add, the richer and the darker that shade of color becomes, and you can move the ink with your brush around in any direction and end up with different effects, and also with lots of dimension. I used the spray bottle of alcohol to break up some of the color and to give it a little bit of a texture. It can almost look like little cells of color. There are just so many really interesting effects that you can get from these. I also blow some air through that straw to move the color around the candle and that can give you some very cool looking effects too. Every time you use these inks, be prepared to experiment a little bit because you never know what artsy looks you'll be able to achieve. I sprayed some alcohol into uh, the top part of that candle just to wet it down and to make that next color move around a little bit when I apply it. Um, we're using the denim blue color next and I applied that to the top of the candle, moving it all around with my brush. Um, and my intention was to have these two colors start to meet up in the middle, creating sort of a little ombre effect. I used one of those felt squares to blot the color around, which also makes a neat looking texture. I can honestly say to you guys, I did not know how each of these techniques was going to look. I just went with it and I highly recommend that you do that as well. You will end up being very pleasantly surprised. I used a little bit of alcohol just to blend the two colors together in the middle of the candle. The second medium sized candle in this set, and I did make three of this size candle for this set. I am using the colors Latte Caramel, Espresso, and a metallic gold color. And I have a piece of wax paper down, and I'm actually just going to drop the lighter color um, of the inks directly onto that wax paper. And then I roll my candle into that color, and that is just to get a nice base coat of that color onto the candle to begin with. 
I spray some alcohol and blow the color around a little bit with my straw and then we begin adding these other colors. I started dripping the colors randomly from the top of the candle so that they begin dripping down toward the bottom and I use my brush to move each color around still all very random. There is so much randomness with these inks and like I said before they kind of do the work for you and they surprise you in the end. The last color I used on this candle is the metallic gold and I end up using it like paint with a tiny makeup brush and I dip it into the gold and I sort of traced some of the color blobs on the candle like I was kind of outlining them with gold now that's just how I chose to do that you could really do that any way that makes you happy any style it's really pretty goof proof just go crazy on the last of this three candle set I went with a totally different color scheme this time I used peach bellini pink sorbet and flamingo and again I'm going to link all of these for you below in the description and then I used some metallic silver and I'm using that the same way as the gold like a paint with a smaller brush and I'm just randomly lining different areas of the candle with the silver at the very end. And this is how the first DIY turned out. Now, if I told you that you could make three $1 candles look like this, would you believe it? These look so high end and expensive. What an amazing gift these would be for the holidays or any time. Plus you could change the color schemes in any way you wanted. You could do three matching color candles with the same colors or all holiday colors, whatever you wanted. Using the alcohol inks is so easy. And a really important note is that once the ink is totally dry, the alcohol is no longer flammable so these will burn just like any other candle they won't like explode or anything like that they are as safe as any other candle they're just amazing DIY number two, switching gears. We're using this large flameless candle. I got this one on Amazon, I'll link it below, but I know for a fact you can get the same size flameless candle at Dollar Tree, so that's an option too. And you know I cannot do an alcohol ink video without doing a wood grain effect. I just can't help myself. You know this about me. But if you have not seen any of my other alcohol ink wood grain videos before, I will gladly link all of them in the description box below. We're using the color Latte to cover the entire candle to get a nice um, base coat of that color. Using a larger makeup brush and up and down strokes and even using just one color, the wood grain practically applies itself. This is so easy, you guys. I apply more and more of this Latte color, just building it up and building it up to a deeper wood shade and allowing those brush strokes to form these perfectly imperfect wood-like striations. Then applying the darker shade of espresso and a smaller makeup brush. I use the same kind of up and down strokes to give that wood grain some contrast and to give it a little more depth with the light and the dark colors playing off one another. I follow that up with a swirling kind of a pattern with my brush over the top of the flameless candle and that pretty much finishes up this candle. And this is how DIY number two, my wood green flameless candle turned out. I love this one, of course, because I just love, love, love that authentic, rustic, natural looking wood green. And I love it in combination with the warmth of that flameless flame. And personally, I would be thrilled to receive this candle as a gift. How about you? DIY number three is a two candle set. I'm using these small votive candles that you get in a pack of four from the Dollar Tree. I taped the first one on the top and the bottom using painter's tape so that I can concentrate the color in a stripe in the middle. This first one, we're using the color Sunset Orange and Crimson, and I apply the drops of crimson on it first, letting that color swirl around the middle and I also put some drops of it on my brush to sort of help move that along. Um, I fill in the bare spots with the sunset orange and that's the bare spots that are in the middle that are uncovered by with tape and I let all those colors just kind of like swirl together all around the candle. 
Then I'm gonna give that candle some time to dry and these inks dry super, super fast. So all it really needs is a few minutes to dry. For the second candle in the set, we're using the colors Meadow and Citrus. Same concept as the first one, we're applying them only to the middle exposed strip of that candle, which we have also taped off with painter's tape. I use a brush and I swirl both the lighter and the darker colors together until they just sort of randomly blend and then I let that dry. Then I go back to the first candle and I add a little metallic gold very sparingly onto that crimson and orange candle. I follow that up by doing the same thing on the meadow and citrus candle, but this time I use the metallic silver for that one. Then I put them both aside to fully dry. After removing the tape from that crimson and orange candle, I needed to clean up the part that was taped over. So using some alcohol on a q-tip and also some alcohol on a piece of white felt, I can neaten that up. Um, I don't want to have those edges perfectly straight though. I want them to have some uneven or some wavy kind of edges because I want them to look nice and natural. I then take a very small brush and I outline over those uneven edges that I just made with more of the gold ink just to emphasize them. I do the exact same thing cleaning it up with that green candle, but I'm using the metallic silver to line the edges of that one. And this is how DIY number three turned out. These little votives are so easy to do. Just imagine the possibilities in making sets of these to give as gifts. You can make sets of four in the same color combinations or use all personalized holiday colors Super cheap, super easy, and very stylish and high-end looking. Gift giving just does not get any easier than that. DIY number four is back to using a wax candle, and I got these large wax candles on Amazon. I will link them for you below, but Dollar Tree does sell large wax candles that are just like these. You can easily use them instead, and I'm using a foam brush to apply some alcohol around the bottom of the candle, and that's just to give that first color something to sort of slosh around in, and this time I got smarter and ditched the straw for some canned air instead. The first color is caramel, and I use a brush to apply that along with blowing some of that canned air to really give the color some airy, wavy kind of edges and patterns for lots of visual interest. I apply more alcohol above where I placed that caramel color, and then I add some of the green color called Meadow above the caramel using a brush and more of the canned air to really move it around and i wanted to blend it a little bit into each other and i'm really really liking how it looks so far then i add more alcohol to the top part of the candle followed by the color denim and i think you can guess at this point where we are going with this i want this top part to look like a night sky so I add the denim and then I use a lot of that canned air to really push the color all around the candle. I grab some alcohol ink in the color Pitch Black and I'm using a small brush. I channel my inner Bob Ross and I painted some very basic happy little trees all around the foresty part of the candle. I then added to those trees with some of some more of that meadow color and that was just to make them look a little bit greener. Lastly, I used the white ink and I diluted it with more alcohol and I used that to make some cloud-like little blobs in my night sky. And this is how DIY number four turned out. I really think this candle is gorgeous. It reminds me of one of those antique-like landscape paintings, and I just love everything about it. It makes me happy. And I, for one, would love to receive something as elegant as this as a gift. Just unbelievable how easy it is to create works of art out of $1, or, or to be fair, $1.25 candles.
DIY number five is using these long taper candles that you can get at the Dollar Tree. This first one I rolled in some crimson ink to get an all over red color. Then I applied some of the metallic gold ink onto a piece of felt and applied that to the red, kind of like sponge painting. And then to give the candle further depth, I used some of the pitch black on another piece of felt and I patted that onto the candle as well. And then I set the whole thing aside to dry. On the second taper candle, I used a felt square and the color pool. And I applied the blue color all over that candle until it was completely covered. I then used a small brush to paint random lines all over with some metallic gold ink. And I did go a little crazy with the gold lines. So in an effort to lighten up the gold a little, I went back in with a brush and some white ink to sort of soften up all of that gold. And then I put everything aside to fully dry. And this is how DIY number five turned out. Admittedly, these are my least favorite of the five DIYs. I don't know if it's the color choices or the fact that I prefer the other types of candles, but I think this DIY has definite potential for greatness with a little more planning. What do you guys think? And these are all five holiday gift candle DIYs. I think there are some fabulous ideas for gorgeous gifts here. There are so many of these that I would love to receive. My personal favorites are the wood grain flameless candle, the landscape painting candle, and the trio of medium sized candles. Those are the ones that I truly love. But as usual, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments which of these five DIYs is your favorite and why. Also, let me know what improvements you would make to those taper candles to really make them pop. I hope you enjoyed this Medicated Housewife DIY, and if you did, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It really helps out my channel. Once again, I really appreciate you watching, and a very big thank you to my subscribers. I am so thankful for all of you. Until next time, I'm the Medicated Housewife, and crafting is my medication.